We'll talk about Bragg's law for X-ray diffraction. W.L. Bragg and W.H. Bragg, the great physicist, studied the diffraction of X-rays in detail and used a crystal of rock salt to diffract X-rays and succeeded in measuring the wavelength. That's awesome. The X-ray beam passing through the crystal or rock salt, it got scattered. And it is detected and the computed image of atoms in the crystal is formed. From there you are able to identify the wavelength of X-rays. They use a special device as Black's spectrometer. We'll see later. The homogeneous X-rays of wavelength lambda is incident on a crystal at a glancing angle of theta. The incident rays AB and DE after reflection from the lattice plans Y and Z travel along BC and EF. The crystal lattice spacing between the phase BD, BP and BQ are perpendicular drawn from B and on DE and EF respectively. Therefore, the path difference between two waves ABC and DEF is equal to P, PE and BQ. So this is the path difference. PE and BQ is the path difference between ABC and DEF. In the triangle P B E sin theta sin theta is equal to P E divided by B E or P E is equal to B E into sin theta. So where B E B is nothing but the difference D H. So D into sin theta that's P E. In triangle Q, B and E, sin theta equal to E Q divided by B E. So E Q is equal to B E sin theta. So as usual you got E Q is equal to D sin theta. The path difference is P E plus E Q is equal to D sin theta plus D sin theta is equal to 2 D sin theta. If the path difference 2 D sin theta is equal to integral multiple of x rays n, n lambda, then construction inter interference will occur due to the reflected beams and they will reinforce with each other. Therefore, the intensity of the reflected beam is maximum. So, 2D sin theta is equal to n lambda, where n equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. This is known as Bragg's law.